All right, one other thing we heard this week was more bad news concerning Josh Gordon. Yeah. He was suspended indefinitely again by the league. Give us an update. Well, it was not for marijuana. And this is also a situation uh, where Josh Gordon, he did not appeal the suspension. He just took the penalty immediately. And the Patriots, they knew there's issues with Josh. They had people with him constantly. Before the trade deadline, they were trying to trade for a top receiver, a Randall Cobb, a Demarius Thomas, just for fear that something like this could happen. This is also not a lifetime ban. The NFL saying he could still come back. He's obviously going to have to show that he is on the straight and narrow and has completely changed his ways. But obviously rough news there for Josh Gordon. Yeah, that's really rough news, Jay. And a lot of people think you're young, you're successful, you're making a lot of money. How could you screw this up? But I think this just goes to show just how real addiction is. And, and I've experienced some of this in my own family. And for me, it didn't make sense. But now I understand it is real. And for Josh, you just hope he gets the help that he needs because football is what you do. It's not who you are. And he has a life outside of football. Football is secondary to him getting his life together. And I think we all here just That's hope right. that this young man certainly won't him right. You comes out Get the well, other end yes. of the tunnel to the to the bright spot. Anyone, as so many people have had family members suffer through addiction issues, you know that it doesn't care about status, stature. Mm -mm. That stuff doesn't matter. Good luck to Josh Gordon just Absolutely. getting his life straightened out.